Welcome to this tutorial on Power Clip in CorelDRAW. A power clip gives you the ability to place an object or multiple objects inside a container within CorelDRAW. This container can be made up of a single object or multiple objects grouped together or text. So let's get started. What we're going to do here is we're going to create a masthead for a travel bro brochure. Let's head off to Hawaii. I'm going to start by typing my text. I'll select the Artistic Text tool from within my toolbox and click once on the screen. I'll type my text. Control Shift Back Arrow will allow me to easily select this text. And now I can either click and drag on the sizing handles or I can type a value on my interactive property bar. I'll type a value of 90 and now I'm going to change my font. From the font drop down I'm going to select Cooper Black. I'll select my pick tool, I'll select a blank spot on the desktop and now I'm ready to import the image that I'll put inside this container. From the file menu I can select file import but a much quicker way is simply to click on my toolbar and select the import icon. I'm going to bring in the image that I want to power clip. Now when I bring an image in, uh, in this method, uh, such as an import, I can click and drag and dictate the size that I want this image to come in at. Shift F4 is going to zoom out to my entire page and I can move this image off to the side so I can see my text. Now in order to power clip this inside the piece of text, from the effects menu, I go down to power clip and I select place inside frame. In earlier versions than CorelDRAW X6, it was placed inside container. I'm going to select this and I'm going to use this fat arrow to click on my piece of text. Now that has automatically power clipped that into the text. Next, I can go to my effects menu, power clip, and edit the contents. Now of course there's shortcut keys that can be used in CorelDRAW and from here on out I'll be using those shortcut keys. Let me just do an F4 and that will zoom to everything that's created on the screen. Holding the control key down, if I click on top of the container itself, it automatically brings me into the edit mode. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and what I want to do is I want to resize this image to fit the text. I'm going to do it unproportionately as well. And there we have it. I'm happy with that. I'm going to hold the control key down again and I'm going to click outside of the power clip frame. That will finish the editing at this level. Now next, I have another image that I want to bring in. So click on import. I'm going to select my hibiscus image and I'm going to click import. I'll click and drag and place that on my desktop. Now this particular image is nice, but I want to remove the green from the background. To do this, I'm going to have to bring this image into Photo Paint. An easy way to get there is from the interactive property bar, because I have a bitmap image selected, I can select Edit Bitmap. And what this is going to do is it's going to launch Photo Paint for me. In Photo Paint, I'm going to use a feature called the Image Cutout Lab. So from the Image menu, I'll simply select Cutout Lab. The Cutout Lab allows me to mark off a selection of the area that I want to keep and then delete the area that I don't. Let's see how that works. I'll select the Highlighter tool and marquee select the perimeter of the hibiscus. It's not overly critical how accurate you are with this highlighting. What's important is that you straddle both the outside color as well as the inside color that you want to keep. The next step is to block or mask off the area that I want to retain. I'll click on the Inside Fill tool and click within that boundary. And then I simply click OK on this. And what that's going to do is it's going to mask off and it's going to keep just the portion that I want. I close out Photo Paint and I select Yes to Save Changes. And that's going to bring me back into CorelDRAW with the image that I want. Now to power clip this inside that same container, 
Instead of going to the Effects menu, down to Power Clip, a quicker way would be simply to grab this image, right click and drag, let go of the mouse button, and I'll select Power Clip inside. I can now hold the Control key down, click on my image, and position the hibiscus where I want it. Control key, click outside, and that's all there is to it. I want to do a couple of other little changes to this. So with this image still selected, I'm going to go to my interactive tools flyout in the toolbox, and I'm going to select envelope. Envelope allows me to distort the text into whatever shape I want. Now one thing you'll notice here is that my power clip image no longer matches the container. Easy enough to fix. Control key and click on the image and I'm simply going to widen the bitmap. By holding the shift key down as I widen it, it widens it top and bottom at the same time. Control click outside of the container and the final step that I want to do to this is again to the interactive tools. I'm going to select my drop shadow tool and I'm going to click and drag and create a drop shadow for this image. And there you have it. Power clip in Corel Draw. Aloha.